Welcome back everyone, it's Sylvia from Aussie Scrapper. Today's scrapbook layout is all about my mum and that is what the title of this scrapbook is going to be about as well. On some vellum I just wrote some things about my mum like her favourite her favourite things, what her and I like to do together, uh, just anything about my mum, I can't even remember what I wrote. But it's just so that my children, if they're ever looking back on this, they know about their grandmother, but from my point of view as her, as my mum. These pictures are nothing fancy, but I just wanted an everyday moment of my mum with her dogs and her grandchildren, which is really what my mum is all about, her, her animals and her grandchildren. That's all that matters to her, and she just enjoys the simple things in life. So you saw me cut my vellum with some old scissors that I have in my stash. They were, uh, I don't know if they're called pattern scissors, but they just give it that nice little group. And I'm just going in with some archival, archival ink and the colour that I'm using is sepia and I'm just inking the sides. I did fuss around for a little while with the placement of my photos, swap things around just to make sure that I was happy with the placement of my photos. And once that was all decided, I just used some double-sided double tape and adhered everything to my beige cardstock that you see there. When it came to the vellum, I actually didn't know what I was going to use. And in the end, I chose to use my glossy accents. And I only put a few dots in different places and I must admit most of it was hidden by the by the archival link wherever we are inked and you can't see it at all. It just dried clear and I'm not sure if it's because there it was just really tiny dots and I had the ink over the top but you cannot see anything. It just looks fantastic. So just using my trusty trimmer to trim down my beige paper and I don't really like it against that white cardstock. So back to my stash and I find this lovely patterned paper. It's from Kazercraft and it's from the Timeless Collection and the paper is actually called Fob Watch and it's number 851. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be using the B side of this paper and I'm just going to trim off just a smidget of all four sides. I will then be mounting this paper or matting this paper on another uh, piece of Kaiser Craft paper and it's from the Botanica collection and the paper is actually called Seed and it's paper 1875. I'm going to be using my pattern scissors once again to trim down this beige coloured cardstock. My cardstock's all cut out now and I'm just going to distress all four sides with my distressing tool which I have finally found. And I must admit, I did rip into the paper by accident and it did freak me out. But in the end, I decided to go with the flow and I quite liked the effect that it had. Abracadabra and all four sides are distressed. So I'm now just going in with some Ranger Archival Ink. It's the same colour as before. It's called sepia. And I'm just going to ink all four sides. I just like to do this to tie everything in together. Sorry about the loud bang before, there was a gush of wind and one of the doors slammed shut. So once again I've cut to the end and all four sides are inked. I'm now playing with the idea of putting some dollies behind my layout and I didn't like the white ones but then I found these ones in my stash. Now the craft stall is a brand from the reject stall. I absolutely love these doilies. So I decided to go with this doily as I thought that the colour matched in with the layout a bit better. So of course I've got to ink both halves don't I? And I'm just using a Tombow marker, it's just a brown one, and to get the job done. I've just adhered everything down to the page and I'm going to be working on my title. These alphabet sticker words are from Kmart. The word special comes from these Amy Tangerine letters. They're just um, rubber words. And then mum, I'm going to spell out using these delish 
stickers. They're flot lowercase alpha stickers. And they're actually designed in Australia but made in China. Now the embellishing side of things, this is what took me the longest with this layer. I played with different flowers, different leaves, but in the end everything was just a bit too much. And then I thought, uh, you know what, this is about my mum. It's got to be simple. She does love flowers and she loves gardening, but I just went, no, it's all too much. Go back to basics, go back to simple. Let it be about my mum. So that's what I did. I took, I got rid of all the embellishments. I decided that I was going to change the word special and I just used my sepia with my finger, just went over it. Then I used some antique linen on a few of my word stickers from the Tim Holtz, I think it's a chat collection. And I stuck down some uh, wooden love hearts that I had in my stash. And then I found these lovely classy red pearls from a company called Queen & Co. And even though they were, they had a bit of sticky on them, I just want, to, want them to permanently stick to my page. And I'm just using some glue from my fine line bottle and putting them about. And that's about it for this layout, I believe. There will be some close-up photos at the end if you wish to look at those. And I must admit, I'm really happy with how this layout turned out. Scrapbooking to me is not about perfect photos and it's not about always having photos where everyone's looking at the camera. I love to capture everyday moments just like in these photos where no one is looking at the camera but you can sort of get a sense of what their lives were about. Um, Mum's surrounded by the two things that she loves. She's in her garden, she's got her, her grandchildren, she's got her dogs. That's what I tried to capture and that's what I got and I just love the essence of these photos. Yes, they're not perfect, but it's a perfect moment that I've captured and I will treasure forever and hopefully my kids will look back on that and go, yes, that's grandma. Anyway, enough talking from me. Thank you to everyone for subscribing, for your comments, for for everything. I really appreciate it and God bless. Until next time. Bye.